Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys with another hands-on video. We need to unboxing because we will be doing a separate video with the unboxing and the full review. So pagsasamahin ko na lang yun. So sa ngayon, first impressions muna. Yes, nasa kamay ko ngayon guys ang Oppo Reno 3 at ang Oppo Reno 3 Pro. Sa iba dito, this might find familiar dahil nga na-release na ang Oppo Reno 3 Pro sa China. Sa China lang po, I think, tong December yon. And ito yung global or international version. So, hindi naman ibang-iba pero I know may differences sila from China's release nung December nga. Anyway, pinagsama ko na lang din ang first impressions or hands-on video ng 3 and 3 Pro dahil para magawa na rin natin ng konting comparison. So again guys, ito yung 3 yung nasa kaliwa ko and then the 3 Pro naman yung nasa kanan ko. Unahin natin guys yung kulay na meron ako sa 3. Ito yung tinatawag nila na sky white. Available din siya in two other colors. Ang tawag naman is Aurora Blue and the Midnight Black. Sa Oppo Reno 3 Pro, ang kulay na meron ako guys is the Aurora Blue with L guys. Yes. Available din siya in two other colors, the Midnight Black and Sky White. Kung iisipin nyo guys, dito sa ating camera, mukha siyang glass. I know. Mukha talaga. Ang ganda ba? Anyway. Na-attract ako dun sa blue. Ganda, no? I know sa camera, feeling nyo glass. Dahil mukha talaga siyang glass. But, hindi po siya made of glass. Oppo decided to use plastic both sa 3 and 3 Pro. Okay, since first impressions naman to, sasabihin ko sa inyo guys yung first impression ko nung unang beses kong nahawakan itong dalawang device na to. Nung hinawakan ko sila, nagulat ako. I mean, hindi naman literal na nagulat dahil medyo OA yun, Pero like, dahil medyo may pagkamagaang itong smartphones na to. It's not like the Oppo Reno 2 na medyo probably dahil nga mabigat yun because of the pop-up and the battery. But these two, they are very light and thin. And to be specific guys, itong Oppo Reno 3, ang weight niya is 170 grams and then itong 3 Pro, 175 grams. Sa ibabaw, parehas silang may secondary microphone. Sa kanan, nandun din yung kanilang power button. Sa left side naman, meron tayong volume rockers and SIM card tray. And sa lower part, meron tayong headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port, and the speaker grill. So, ayun guys, in terms of physical appearance, hindi sila talaga nakakalayo. Halos parehas lang Except of course, yung cameras nila sa likod. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, sa Oppo Reno 3, yung kanyang LED flash ay nasa labas ng camera house. With the Oppo Reno 3 Pro guys, quad camera setup pa rin naman but the LED flash is inside the camera house. So kung mapapansin nyo yung camera module natin dito, medyo malapad than the Oppo Reno 3. For the back design guys, may pagka-illuminating effect sila na kung saan kapag tatamaan ng ilaw, it glows on different directions. Like, for example, itong 3 Pro, guys. Kung mapapansin nyo, ayan. Diba? Napakaganda. With the Oppo Reno 3 Pro, guys, it kind of reminds me of the sea. Kung mapapansin nyo, padip ng padip yung pagka-blue niya. Parang sa dagat nga dahil padip na padip din yung kulay kapag palalim na ng palalim. But it's like every modern smartphone na nahawakan ko na mukhang glass pero again, hindi nga siya glass. Kaya rin siguro siya mas magaang. I know guys, pag glass hindi namin, syempre mas premium yung feeling o pakaramdam mo pag hawak mo yung phone mo. But sometimes it doesn't really matter to me, especially kung lalagyan naman natin ng case. Punta naman tayo sa display nilang dalawa guys. Ang 3 Pro at ang non Pro, parehas po silang Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Actually guys, pagdating naman sa size ng display, parehas na parehas din sila. Hindi sila magkaiba, pero syempre yung screen to bag ratio magkaiba sila. Since yung Oppo Reno 3, meron tayong notch, which is medyo nasad ako dito. And then the Pro, meron tayong dual punch hole camera in front. Nung nalaman ko na we no more have a shark's fin na pop-up camera, dahil feeling ko yung shark's fin yun talaga yung trademark ng Reno series. It made the Reno mid-range series different from other devices. But ang naiintindihan ko naman guys, isipin na lang siguro natin na lumalayo na si Oppo sa pop-up mechanism para mas maging siguro durable na rin yung mga smartphones nila. Oppo Reno 3 and the 3 Pro, parehas po silang merong 6.4 inches Super AMOLED display. Ang non-Pro guys, meron pa rin tayong 90.8 screen to battery ratio. But ayun, meron pa rin nga tayong water drop notch which is um, this 2020 medyo, di ba, hindi na nga nauuso ang notch. So, so medyo disappointed ako sa part na to. But the 3 Pro guys, from the name itself, Pro, pang malakasan. Alam nyo ba guys, na itong smartphone na to, yung 3 Pro, ang kauna-unahang smartphone na merong dual 
punch hole na merong 44 megapixels as a main camera. Kasi yung secondary camera niya po ay 2 megapixels depth sensor. And dyan siya para alam niyo yun, magkaroon kayo ng bokeh effect sa mga selfies niyo and ma-adjust rin natin siya kung gano'n yung ka-blurred gusto yung background niyo. But the good news naman guys for the non-pro kung medyo wala kayong budget to get the pro version, 44 megapixels pa rin guys yung front camera na to. So kung medyo na-disappoint kayo sa water drop notch niya, nabawi naman tayo for having a 44 megapixels. Pero syempre guys, hindi porket it says on paper na 44 megapixels nga yung front facing camera na itong dalawa doesn't mean it really applies in real life. So papakita ko sa inyo guys sa mga sample photos that I took using yung 44 megapixels nila. For the Oppo Reno 3 guys, meron tayong 48 megapixels main camera, 13 megapixels telephoto lens, 8 megapixels ultra wide angle lens, and 2 megapixels mono lens. For the 3 Pro guys, meron tayong 13 megapixels telephoto lens, 64 megapixels main camera, 2 megapixels main camera, and 8 megapixels ultra wide. For the front camera, by default, it takes 16 megapixels photos. But kung gusto nyo gamitin yung 44 megapixels, punta kayo sa upper right corner na merong 3 lines. Click nyo yun and then click nyo rin yung 44 megapixels. So ang main difference nila in terms of the quad camera setup, ang 3 guys merong 48 megapixels, ang 3 Pro merong 64 megapixels. I'll be having guys a more in-depth review for the cameras of the T and the 3 Pro on our full review and unboxing video. But for now, ito yung mga sample photos that I took using these devices. ang Oppo guys, they decided to use MediaTek on their new mid-range devices. So, ang Oppo Reno guys, meron siyang MediaTek Helio P90 with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Ang Oppo Reno 3 Pro naman guys, it is using MediaTek Helio P95 with 8GB of RAM and for the internal storage, dalawa ang choices nyo. We have 128GB and 256GB. Feeling ko guys, I expect the Oppo Reno 3 Pro to perform almost the same with the Oppo Reno 3 dahil hindi, dahil hindi naman sila talaga masyadong nagkakalayo since parehas rin naman silang 8GB of RAM. Pero I will let you guys know more sa full review natin yung kanilang Antuto benchmark results and kung may pagkakaiba nga talaga sila in terms of the performance. The Oppo Reno 3 and the 3 Pro guys, it has the Color OS 7 based on Android 10. So the Color OS 7, it's Oppo's newest UI, alam ko, alam, medyo alam nyo na yung feelings ko in terms of the Color OS 6. Dahil in-explain ko na to sa inyo sa X2 Pro video natin. But I'm really happy dahil even the mid-range devices, naka-Color OS 7 na rin. Medyo hindi sila nagkakalayo ng itsura with the stock Android. Also guys, parehas rin mong may face unlock and in-display fingerprint sensor yung 3 and the 3 Pro. Pero hindi siya yung as what you expected it to be. Naka but at least guys, it's 80% to 90% accurate most of the time. Pag-uusapan natin guys ng mas malalim yung OS na to sa atin full review. Battery life guys, parehas lang sila. 4,025 mAh battery capacity. Dahil ang Oppo Reno 3, meron lang siyang VOOC Flash Charge 3.0. Ang Oppo Reno 3 Pro naman guys, meron siyang 30 watts VOOC Flash Charge 4.0. So expect guys na mas mabilis mo sa charge yung 3 Pro than the non Pro. Well, that's why it is called the Pro 1. As of now guys, hindi ko pa alam kung magkano ang presyo ng 3 at ng 3 Pro. Overall guys, the Oppo Reno 3 and the 3 Pro, para sa akin, they are two great mid-range devices na pre-noduce ng Oppo. Although may mga cons sila, of course, hindi naman ito mawawala dahil wala naman tayong perfect mid-range device. So yes, 
yes guys, for an early verdict, the Oppo Reno 3 and the 3 Pro is definitely worth your consideration, especially if you are an Oppo user ever since. That is it guys, as of now, for our first impressions and hands-on video for the Oppo Reno 3 and the 3 Pro. Abangan nyo yung ating unboxing and full review probably this week. Again, don't forget to wash your hands, stay safe, stay at home. Again, it's your tag girl Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!